Hello, everybody. My name is Al DePaulo. I'm the Partner Products Manager, and today I wanted to take a quick look at working with uh, a step file and machining an angled surface on a, a block. This is a file that came over from one of our customers in the UK, and uh, they had some questions about how to machine this angled surface on the top of this park here. So, uh, the uh, OD of the part has already been profiled down from what I understand and the holes already put into it. Uh, that was easy enough for the user to do, but they weren't sure how to get this angled surface here. So um, the first thing that I want to do, because when I when I rough this out, I don't want the, the tool to go down inside of these areas here, uh, is I want to fill those surfaces. There's a couple of ways to do it. Um, what I'm going to do is create a new layer. I'm going to extract the wireframe for this face here. Uh, once I have that wireframe, I'm going to come in and create planar surfaces to fill those holes up. So now I have a nice flat surface across the top of the part. Okay. Now the next thing that I want to do is I want to run our stock wizard here. So we're going to create a new job. We'll run our stock wizard, and we're just going to put a box around it here. And um, you know, I'm going to add a little bit of stock on top. And uh, I'm not really sure where he has the zero, so I'm just going to pick top center as my zero. Okay, so I've set up my stock and I've set up the zero. The next thing that I want to do is run a three axis routine. I'm going to select all my geometry here. Uh, my machining strategy, I'm just going to use an advanced rough. Uh, this is what I'm going to use to rough out the part. So we'll use a half inch end mill. Uh, we'll do zigzag, set our step down, set our step over. Uh, set our stock for finish, set our cutting strategy. Now, one of the things that I want to uh, take a look at here is our depth options. Uh, right now, this one's set to min-max from machining surfaces, so let's go ahead and compute this. And, um, you know, one of the things that you're going to notice is that uh, where, where the tool path is starting coming from. Because it's min-max and machining surfaces, it's looking uh, at the top of this part here, um, in, or the top of the surface instead of the top of the stock. So um, that's what the min-max from machining surfaces is designed to do. Uh, you can come in here and you can say min-max from stock, and then we can recompute this, and now we'll see that it's going to start cutting from the top of the stock. Now, based on my depth of cut here, you know, it's coming in and it's roughing this out. Um, you know, if I add some intermediate steps, which I think would be a good idea, we're going to add, let's say, two intermediate steps and uh, we'll recompute this. Now what we're going to see it's going to do a, a good job of uh, roughing out this material and then stepping up it. Okay, So now from here I have the uh, tool path to rough out the surface. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, blank this and then I'm going to come in and load in um, a finishing strategy. So the strategy I'm going to use in this example is going to be equidistant and I'll use a ball mill I uh, okay and then I'm gonna go from outside to center I'm gonna set my uh, step over and uh, the other option that I wanted to do here is 3d extents and then we'll go ahead and recompute and then what that's gonna do is run run around the park here and uh, machine the the radius that's on the edge too. I don't. I don't really like the way the the intersections are here because there's no fillet on this side. But that's going to roll over the edge and and machine the radius as well, and that will finish the top of it. So we were able to uh, rough the part out, and then we were able to uh, finish it. The last thing I'm going to do is just run this through a simulation. So we'll do mill simulation. Uh, let's get the machine okay so we can run this through and now we can see that it's 
you know, doing a good job of finishing up that surface there. Again, there's always a number of different ways that you can machine parts. Uh, this is just the steps that I use to machine this here. Uh, hopefully you found it useful and informative. If there's any questions or anything I can help with, uh, please reply back to uh, the thread, the Facebook, or the YouTube page. All right, thank you so much, guys.